it's that time again uh, about 250 hours it's time to change the fuel filters so i'm gonna do it on the mains uh this one's for the generator and we haven't been running the generator a lot the diesel looks clean i'm gonna try and clean those bowls real good uh that's gonna be new and then tighten this up but i got 30 micron filters bought them on amazon but my by the dozen and like i said 250 hours it's about 125 gallons through each one of them it's a little excessive but they're pretty cheap and it's a pretty easy job knock on wood so here we go let's uh change some fuel filters so our number one goal in changing these fuel filters is not to spill any diesel so i have a tray uh, we got rags and we'll do our best be conscious of not spilling any diesel uh, number two i always change my my filters when i have a fuel full tank that's going to give me back pressure to fill those bowls and then there's outlet valves so the second goal is not to get any air in the fuel system so there's little things that we'll do along the way to assure no air gets in there that's that's goal number two so step one is to turn the fuel off at the tank and turn off the fuel to the engine that you're going to be working on which we'll do starboard first so that should be full of diesel all the way to here that's our our hopes uh, and then we'll drain the bowl and then we'll crack the top and we should get a nice flush we're gonna drain it all the way is the Raycor 2010 filter so it's pretty dirty where the new one so, and that's why I've been doing it about a hundred hours per per filter 250 total it's taking a little while to drain let's see what we got there's a good comparison here's before and after It did have a lot of gunk in there on the bottom. You can see the fuel is black. Big old chunks came out. I had to take off this drain and this plug and just get in there as best I could. And we'll see what, how dirty this one is. It looks pretty dirty. And then um, what I did was, that's all the way on. I'm looking for leaks right now. Uh, I changed the O-ring inside the cap. Filled it all the way to the top, press the cap on hard, open the fuel until a little bit starts coming out the top, and then crank that one down. That way I know that there's diesel all the way in it. Again, that's why I'm doing it when the diesel's full. It'll fill to the top on the filters. So if you don't have this, you can fill it by hand all the way as full as you can get it. And then I'll let it sit. So we'll go on to the next one, see if I can't uh, do it a little smoother. On this one, I actually took the drain plug out because uh, the last time it clogged up because there was some uh, gunk and gunk and BAM! Just super flush, super dirty, nastiness came out. I used Biocide, but I'm going to get growth. So, and that's the old one. This comes in handy, by the way changing o-rings and stuff so i'll do a couple flushes see if i can't get up in there in a rag and wipe it out but that's pretty smooth took the top off unscrewed it bloop making sure everything's shut so i just got excited uh we have pour over coffee like stainless steel ones and they came with little uh, brushes so i think this might work 
amazing. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Do the best you can with what you got. I did that one for like an hour with a rag. <laughs> Look at that. That's going to work out great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Brush the bowl. Brushing the bowl. Filter. Gasket. Top. Tight. Oh man, look at that bowl. There's an after. Super clean. There's still some sludge on the spinners. But I'll wipe it down and I'll stay here and wait. Make sure it's not leaking. And then run the engines for quite a while. Make sure there's no air in the system. So everything's on. On to the valves. So the final step is I run the engines. I do full engine checks, oil checks, tail drives, belts, uh, raw water intakes. I do all that and I open up all the fuel cocks and run the engines a little over idle. That's idling pretty high actually. We'll figure out why that is. Uh, a little over idle for quite a while. You can go back and check if diesel's returning, make sure that there's no air in the lines. But uh, I'll just run it. There it goes, drop back down. Uh, I'll just let them run for a while. Because uh, you don't want to do this, have an air, line, air in your line, and then you leave the dock. 60 from the dock, you got no power, it's no fun. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. That's how dad showed me how to do it, so that's how I do it.